Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. I'm Illusion. And I'm Wolf. Hello. And this is episode 7. So, we've been... Well, I w I'm not going to call it we. I'm going to say Wolf has been busy. So, I'll let Wolf... Why don't you take us on a tour of all the things that you do when you get uh, when you get bored late at night. Okay. And that sounds uh, like kind of kinky, but... <laughs> Yeah, after class I'm not tired, so I do a lot of stuff. Uh, where to start? Um, I guess over here the big obvious thing that's been built. <laughs> oh no, I, I I almost missed that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I added. I'm gonna make this kind of into a building, and then uh, like down here will be like the random stuff that we don't need a lot of. Mm -hmm. So, kind of like the tea and corn and stuff like that that's not part of any quest is going to be down here mm -hmm. this glass looks really good in the texture pack yeah and it's actually fairly easy to make um, you just make the sandy glass which is two sand and two pieces of glass and then you smelt that to thickened glass and then you just put that in a brick pattern four oh, by, cool. uh, two by two and you discovered this new recipe for the doors, which I think yes. look really cool. I know they do. Really awesome. Um, and then if we go up, which this ladder over here. Yeah, it's totally sketchy. <laughs> well, I'm planning on making elevators here soon, so. Yeah, I tried to make elevators last night, but we didn't have enough wool. Yeah. Um, this will be where the, like, the quest stuff is. Because we need like um, a lot of... Um, Lettuce, lettuce yeah, and then I think we need. I'm not sure if we need wheat or not, but this will be piped up to the next level, which I pillared up. So I just, I'm not. We're not going up there, but that, on the next level is where I'm going to put like the breeding and like slaughterhouse for the animals. Oh. So we for just like a couple of cows, so we can both ranch them so we can get the milk or I guess we have the milk pretty set up right now but mm -hmm. um, like the we can possibly get mushrooms if we can find out how to do that or if we get it in reward well you know we should set up, we should probably open some of those uh, mystery um, safari nets yeah well, um, yeah maybe we can do that at the end of the episode because for the oh yeah you also need to color this barrel green you know because this one no yellow because this one is green you know for the <laughs> for these crops and if you you know if you grow the nether world you need to make a barrel you know red one you know just to be <laughs> you know in, in team with it. If, yeah. you had, if i had a face cam y'all see me shaking my head <laughs> oh um one thing i did um since this is my house i evicted everybody out of my house and um, have my nice little house. Show everybody on mine. Yeah, I need my <laughs> painting and stuff. Made myself a little refrigerator. Aww. Then he made a spruce desk. <laughs> he should have made an oak one. <laughs> no, I wanted spruce. <laughs> okay, I'll make an oak one. Fine, you make an oak one. Um, so you want to come show us this disaster you have underneath here? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I think the last episode we showed the cobble gen. So since then, we added the auto crafter. <laughs> yeah, so basically, this will be our automatic food maker. Come in here and press a button, and you can see I have a foot long um, sub. That's the kind of thing I like eating because it does like four hunger. Yep, and right now it's only set up to do toast right now, but. I'll add more recipes. Hey, Lucian, you should show them this fancy, you know, wiring. <laughs> so it, it looks pro. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> but yeah. you want to come see this other disaster area back here? And then I started on, used the gift that we got last episode and started on Pneumaticraft. Yeah. <laughs> so you used a bunch of... Uh, Basically automated with uh, hoppers and AE. Yeah. So we have a little... And the good thing is this is like the other plants where they don't completely go away. So as soon as they get full grown, they'll 
pop out their seeds and then they'll go into the hopper. And then over here I have these ones because the only way these get seeds is by rain and lightning so I needed to open to the air. Mm -hmm. So yeah that's why when it storms and you hear lightning now that's these plants. <laughs> So I was looking at this the other day, and I forgot to ask you last night. Why do you have random import buses right here? Um, I was going to put more hoppers out because oh. the ender uh, things teleport randomly. Oh, so I, I was just going to put them around every, once in a while just in case they like teleport to where they are not can't be picked up. Gotcha. Alright. Um, I think that's all that's been done. And then, let's see what... Yeah, I think so, because... Oh, then you go over here. I have the squid plants over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, I saw a squid swimming in there earlier. Yeah, it, they spawn squid um, when they... That's their special effect, I guess, is what you can say. Mm -hmm. And then you good. kill the squid and you get the seeds, so... That's pretty cool. All right. See. And over in the little ore processing place, I just cleaned up and just guys. What's with this stone barrel near the lava tank? Um, we had. Oh, you're making netherrack. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep, we had to make netherrack because we were trying to figure out how to get cobalt and iodine. That's what we were doing. Yep. Which, for those that um, have not checked it out, you cannot get cobalt and ardite in the current version of uh, Agrarian Skies because something's wrong with the code or whatever. But so can't get it. But these two chests that I spawned in at the beginning of the series, I finally emptied them out. So over the edge they go. Awesome. So this is my project for the day. I'm gonna get this going. And, oh, you are going to work on... I was going to come over here and... I already have a platform laid out from that I did last night. I'm going to look in, if you look in this chest, this is what I'm going to work on today. Yes. I'm going to work on an orchard and get it all set up. Yeah, I think you have everything you need there. I think so. Um, conduits. I'm trying to make you everything I thought it you need. Well, if not, just holler. Yep. Um, I might need later once I get it all set up the Emmy cables so I can import it into the kitchen. Um, that's why I've, I've made you item. Well, I don't know. We gotta figure out if we're having a bug with the item ducts or not. But I yeah. Oh yeah, for everybody knows, the server keeps on shutting down for some reason, and the only thing in the log is saying something about item ducks and how they're transferring items or something. I think the the item ducks are not chunk loaded. You know, uh, the like in industrial craft or you know the the build craft pipes, they're you know loaded. So you're thinking maybe it has something to do with going into yeah, unloaded, some, unloaded some chunks? Thing. Yeah, some something with that. Well, I made you a bunch of item ducts so you can item duct all into one collection point to the interface and then to your network. Yeah, that's what I was planning to do. That's just need something to... Yeah. Okay. Or something with the, the sink. You know, the out of sink or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be. That's usually the, the issue. Alright, so what I'm going to work on is I'm going to get us an auto crafting system. Uh, not that. Up and going. Hopefully my hopefully my 1 a.m. math did this right. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm kind of lost. You're lost? Yeah. Where do I found, find Invar? In the um, disc. Yeah. This 
enemy network over here. Where all the ORD stuff is. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to make a little bit smaller um, auto crafter. That way we can expand. Defense. That's a little bit tight. Hmm. I don't know if I want this here or not. Where are you putting it? I was putting it downstairs underneath. But it's a little bit tighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's what... I had to sink my the one in the kitchen into the floor because it was just a little tight. Oh, and then what we're doing for these, we're gonna we plan on having one picker for every four trees. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know where to put this thing at. Oh, and I was also thinking maybe make see how the trees do over here and then maybe make this into a giant farm on top of the trees. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just because it seems like those farms won't aren't doing a lot of protection. I spent a lot of time with bone mill up there last yesterday. <laughs> oh, did you? So, yeah, just to get that much going, just kind of give it a kick start. But so maybe I'll make a giant farm to where each farm is like twice the size of that. Like make the planter and the harvester the biggest size it can be. Mm -hmm. And then just put each quadrant, each one of those. Maybe I just need to take this up. Maybe that's a smart thing to do. Oh, and do you want to turn in quests now, or do you want to uh, wait for a little bit? Yes, yeah, wait. Let me get this thing built. Okay. Because I'm doing my best not to fall off the edge. <laughs> I just remembered we have a lot of quests that we, in my time, <laughs> on here completed. Okay, so what kind of did you get the hammer? top of it. Yeah, we should have a fair amount of quests to to turn in. Yeah. And then once we do you guys made some quests and I was <laughs> late. Um maybe. I don't think we cover. turned. I don't think we turned in any. Oh, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna have a, two patterns and two CPUs for now. Oh, I didn't do this right. Yep, a little bit short. So what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. We could actually have two planters practically do the whole thing. What do you mean? Um, with the quartz upgrades, it actually, the area that it covers, it'll cover six trees, how I have that set up right now. Oh, cool. Cool, there we have our system. 
Alright guys, I will be right back. Alright, we're back. Yep, and I am just making a in fluid import and export bus so we can unlock the quest for the hoarding. Oh. You have to, you have to make that to unlock it? Uh, yeah, because we have this is the next step before we can unlock all the big stuff. So. Oh, we have a lot of rewards to claim, you know that? Yes, we do. <laughs> so what do I need in this? Uh, do you have any ME cable left? Or I have 17 on my inventory. How much do you need? I uh, Let me check the import. Probably just need two. Oh, yeah, I think so. Oh, well, I'll give it to you, all of you. Just okay. send back whatever you don't need. Okay. I'm going to come here and the very first pattern that you should make in your auto crafting network is yes. how to make more patterns. Yes. Pin code. Uh, All right, nice. All right, twenty, please. Four. That's oh. X. Whoops. We're at a glass again. Yep. Oh! Don't die. And I almost died. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take these blank patterns and set uh, something else. must over. build a ladder closer because I'm. Uh, I'm moving too much. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put pattern in here to autocraft these into blocks. So clear. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to set this up. It could be a little time consuming to set up, but I think once it's set up, it'll run without having to to deal with it too much. Okay. And you're making glass right now? I am. I just stuck in a uh, stack. Okay. And then I also need... Copper. These. Those. And code. Alright, so that's four. So that'll be a good start. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I want. Hey, can I have some cable back? Uh, I put it in the system so you can grab okay. one out of there. Some out of there. I have to make another import bus, so. So you need some cable left? Uh, yeah, I think like two oh, or I three. I have 18 energy conduit if someone needs. Okay, I left you two in there. So I'm going to set up how to okay. automate Rub. this system. I yeah, I'm putting the glass in the system, so you know. So I'll pop this off. I'll replace the energy connect in the ME system. Okay. Okay. Oops. Oops, did I spell it right? Yeah. I get rid of this. So this piece of cable that I'm taking out is for those of you watching my stream. This is the item duct that carry things from that chest up there to the smeltery. So basically, I am just going to wire it up to do it with AE now. At least that's the plan. 
If you've been around my channel long enough, you know how my plans usually go. Alright. Okay. Servo in here to extract. Okay, and this should be turned on to always craft. So if I did this right, is anybody close to the smeltery? I am not right now. Okay, I can run it there. Oh, oh no. If I did this right, it sh should. It should be, but it's not. For. I said an interface. Um, oh, I know why. <laughs> oh, I know why. I know what I did wrong. Um, you're using that one, aren't you? Oh, that's mine. Do you want to know the good news or the bad news? Bad news. Well, the bad news is if the grinder is connected to, to the power it you know it starts to kill all the mobs and all the you know the drops are spitting on the ground um and the good news is we can hook it on a emmy system we'll put a chest on the thing so that so the drops don't hit the ground I can't put the chest. I what I can do is I could place a hopper and yeah. Or I will remove the power line, you know, until I will connect the Yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh -huh. I have a strange feeling that I'm failing at this. Alright guys, I'll be back. I need to look to see what's wrong here with this system. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Alright, and we're back. So yep, we're back. It's kind of loud over by me, so let me turn down my volume. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm over by the mob farm. Oh yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead. so for those watching my stream, basically I just took a pattern. Uh, illusion is not stream, by the way my video <laughs> um, I just basically made a pattern out of all of these and put it in the after crafter system and let me jump down here and I got this thing sorted out so basically what I'm telling this to do is to keep these in the exported items it gets pulled out by the item duct sent to the interface so all I gotta do is just finish adding these. So connect copper. Um, well, connect it from the right. The right. Yeah. Yeah, because here we need to place the the liquid pipe, yep. liquid duct, how it is called. Just come from this side and place it. Yeah, I'm gonna put back the floor. Oh. There we go. Um, and after that, put the stone bricks there. Back. Yeah, I will. Uh, oh, we need item ducts, so we'll go down this way. And this way. What y'all doing? Y'all doing? Uh, the mob farm getting it set up so it's automated. Oh. And then last one. 
And that should fill, start filling once we get it started. Um, stair. And then in the quest book, I went ahead and completed fluid management in the go with the flow so I can get access to all these really big quests. Oh, we need to place a redstone signal, right? Next to the... No, it automatically outputs. Oh, okay then. So for me, this guy, this is pretty much automated. This... Well, let's watch on which of the barrels. I just need to finish oh. up adding these up. But this will automatically craft those blocks and send it to the smeltery. Oh, hey Wolf, I wonder why the gunpowder is in this one, because... It is closest. Um, what we can yeah, do... Yeah, but here there is... It, it doesn't matter, it goes for the closest available inventory. Oh. Valid inventory. Then I so will... if we do this... Yeah. And do that... Oh, that's locked. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I will unlock all this. But I mean, if you just put, like, what I did, put, uh... Like, I put cobblestone in the barrel where I didn't want something to go. So, like... This yeah, one, like you want this, we need to add you more that. for the trophies and you know, all the other stuff. Okay. And for the under pearl, oh no, for the under pearl we already have. Um, what you can do now, uh, we can put a chest over here on the end, and then whatever. Oh yeah. Doesn't go in a barrel. When it gets to the end, it will go into the chest, and then we can allow for barrels for those. And we can press cobble. Oh, how does that happen? Okay, you got it. And then... Well, what? for the armor and other stuff. Yeah, and um, when we do that... Oh, but I can take one of the chests from the... from down... down here. Yeah, and then what you can do is, once you get to gather up those items that we don't want, you could set a filter on it and send it to a trash can and just get rid of it. So what I am going to do here, with for the mob essence, if you want to come and look, what, I, what I'll do is select that quest in the book and then I'll set that to where now it's going to accept uh, the goo, the essence. And all I have to do is set it up like that, and then it will start going. So. You should be seeing some power, right? Alright, so, we, but we need to unlock that first. Well, it's not locked on mine yet. Oh, I unlocked it. Well, okay. Well, you guys want to take a few minutes and claim rewards? Yep. Yeah. And then we'll figure out why this isn't working. <laughs> there you go. Is it working now? Oh, it's not working. It's still idle. I don't know what's going on. Well, you do have a spot to output items? Yep. Yeah. Right here. Oh, I, for some reason it's not up. Hmm. Oh, it's not connected. Yeah. Or you... Maybe it's some sort of lag thing it didn't... Because I swear I did that. <laughs> Good thing I came over here. There we go. It should be running now. Oh, it's working now. Okay, good. Yeah, you're all good. Alright, I'm gonna go clean off my inventory. It's alive, guys, it's alive. So yeah, get... I need to <laughs> clean my inventory up too. Because I think we're getting right, getting ready to get a lot of presents. Like, be like Christmas. 
I like the new shortcut. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> on top of the trees, and then right. I jump on top of the kitchen, and I'm here. And I can sit on the seat. Okay. So. Oh my God! Out of things. So, which one we take first? The li the librarian. Uh, we've already got that one. So go really? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I read. Okay. The be resourceful. Yep, we already got that one. Okay, I will also take it. The two we haven't gotten yet is cultivating the harvest and expanding the farm. So you can go ahead and take all the rest of them. Oh. Do you, you have tomatoes and you have beans, don't you? Yes, I do. Guess we're getting injured, lilies. Mm, should I take a wooden sword with enchant or a raw fish with enchant? I take the raw fish with enchant. Yeah, go ahead and take the raw fish. Cool. <laughs> see what I got. Okay. Should I take the safari net or the reward bag from the casting? Call? That's up to you. But do we need some mobs now? Oh, you can. Uh, I know a lot of quests from later on will well, give I, us. I, I took the safari in it because you know we never know. Yep. Oh, we got. I got a greater one. Let's see what I got. <laughs> I got efficiency three again. Hmm. I got a sword that I just threw off the edge. <laughs> okay, so we got those. Yep. The next one. Oh, I can. I totally forgot about this. I can actually turn in something on Hell's Kitchen. Oh. I spent a lot of time getting soy milk and fermented food. All these hives on the ground. Oh. <laughs> can you pick them, Wolf? Yeah, I can get them. What'd you get? And I need to... You got hives. Well, I've got... Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of hives. There we go. Um... Come in the Illusions house. Yeah. And we will place them. He already has a lot of them, so... Yeah, I should have a house stack. Oh, yeah. Now we have... 48. From each. Alright, so... Oh, we're gonna be set for those. <laughs> for the we should be in for the hoarding. We can make a, you know, multi-level... thingy. God, I have so many stuff. 34 level, 34 lives. We got a spiked axe. Greater bag. A book with fortune tree. Well, that is handy, but not here. Fishing rod. And, okay, nothing more in there. So we had the skyblock, hell's kitchen, um, for the hoarding. We have two. Um. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> what did you do to me? Well, it was a fishing rod, and I right click it on it, and it, it, it jumped on the on the ground, and I noticed it exploded. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know about the troll fishing rod. <laughs> I didn't know about it. Okay, you're not allowed to stay next to me anymore. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> There's a hole in his yard. <clears throat> Holy crap. I'm scared of all this mod back now. Uh, I didn't want okay. to lose my head. <laughs> uh. From cultivating the harvest, do we need ender lily seed? Um, yeah, go ahead and grab those because we have the rest of them. <clears throat> Get some more interfaces. That's okay, I just added three lives to the one you just lost. <laughs> okay, two greater bags, let's see what I get. Holy crap. Oh, diamond horse armor. I can't believe, I swear to God, I can't believe what just happened. 
I just got more music discs. I got a yellow heart. Canister. Where are you at? Uh. Oh, hello, sheep. Oh, I think we need wool, right? We can shear the sheep for that. Go deeper so we can fill up in this one. Come on. Oh, my chest is full. God damn it. And then, is there anything else that we need? I think everything else was... Where did you guys put the... the hearts? Um, if they're full, use them. If not, go ahead and throw them on me. Oh, I have some flowers and... Uh, and the lily seed seeds. Where did I put them? Uh, put them in the A system in the, in the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, good, greater, and basic. Ooh, lemon saplings. I think I just got some of the ones that we don't have yet. What'd you get? Uh, more trees. Oh, you get a whole, um,. You have a whole uh, t -t -t strong box full of wood. Uh, we got some oysters. Oysters, really? And some amaranth stairs. The the cast thing is from Tinker's Construct. Should I throw them, or do we need them? Um, which ones? The X hat. The Oh, you just got that reward. Um, it's up to you. I messed up my yard. <laughs> oh shit! Another, another fishing rod. Stay away from me. You know me. that explodes. Stay away. From I will me. throw it. Look, illusion. I will throw it. Mhm. Mm See, it's gone. Uh, you must might have a surprise when you come back next time. Are <laughs> uh, you guys ready to wrap up? Um, yeah. Do you want to build a building and blow up our first pneumatic craft, or do you want to do it at the start of the next episode? Um, let's just focus on pneumatic craft. Like, let's like, dedicate like a whole half episode to it or something. Okay, okay. Since we're a little bit over already on this one. Yeah, let's yeah let's go ahead and wrap up. Okay. And. Probably between this episode and next, I'll finish the stuff out here. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. I see what I can be doing six trees. Very nice reward. Yeah. yeah that um, worked. That worked good. Whoa. Oh, you got the home craft stuff. The ground. There we go. <laughs> we'll be above the bridge. Making a mess on the roof. All right, guys, let's wrap up. And okay. see you guys next time. Yep, yep. see you later.